Hello kids and families of the heart. As you know kids, we have been tracing through images, pictures, these, these things that we can grab onto in the Bible that help us imagine and understand our relationship with God. And Jesus has given us many of those. We've talked about plank, salt, seed, all of these wonderful, beautiful images that help us understand how we relate to our invisible God. The last time I brought my camera outside, we talked about a stream. This picture of God being like the source of, of where we need to fill our thirst, God as a stream, it came from a psalm. Old, old prayers written by these people way back in Hebrew writing to God about how they feel. Today we're gonna to look at another Psalm where David, you guys remember King David? Used to be a shepherd boy, then he became a king. He was a man after God's own heart. In other words, he really loved God and God really loved him. And by the way, if you didn't know, God really loves you too. David wrote and prayed about God making him feel like an image that's already in the screen if you're paying attention. So. We'll dive into that. It's in Psalm 51. But before we do that, let me just ask you, what do you think of when you think of snow? Some of you may think of throwing snowballs, making snowmen, maybe snow cream, avoid the yellow snow. Maybe you think of Olaf. Well, David thought of one part about snow that we're gonna explore this morning. Are you ready? So this comes from Psalm 51. And there's a note here about what was going on in David's life when he wrote this, this prayer. Basically, David made a really, really, really big mistake, like the biggest mistake of his life before he wrote this prayer. So David felt really bad, really messy, really dirty inside. Have you ever felt that way? Have you ever made a mistake and you did something wrong and you just you feel bad and embarrassed and you don't know what to do about it? Well, David gives us something to do. He takes it to God in prayer. This is a prayer of forgiveness. So I'm gonna read part of it for us today and we'll think about what's going on. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness and your compassion blot out my offense. O oh, wash me more and more from my guilt and cleanse me from my sin. My offenses, truly I know them. My sin is always before me. O oh, purify me, then I shall be clean. O oh, wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. A pure heart create for me, O oh God. Put a steadfast spirit within me. So David knows that he's messed up and he's going to God. Have you guys ever felt sorry for anything? I'm sure your parents have talked to you about how to apologize when you do something wrong. Well, in Psalm 51, we get a way for us to apologize to God when we've sinned, when we've done something wrong, when we've made a big mistake. How do we restart when our, we've made mistakes? Can we get a clean slate? How do we start over? Can we be clean? Can we do that on our own? Well, this psalm shows us that part of what we need to do is go to God in prayer. David clings on to the image of snow. From what I understand, it doesn't snow as much where David was from as it does here, but it did snow. And, and especially on the taller mountains, it snowed. Snow was about the whitest thing you could imagine. If you guys ever watched a fresh coat of snow just falling gently and making everything bright and white and the sun comes out and it's blinding and, and you feel like you need to put on sunglasses because it's so white it's hard to look at. It's clean. If you've ever been in a field where nobody's walked yet and no animal has been through, it's just the most serene, clean, there's nothing messy about it. It's beautiful and perfect. And David, in his mess that he made, this mistake that was so terrible, he's praying to God to make him feel like this snow. Wash me and I'll be whiter than snow. He believes that God's forgiveness is so strong that it makes him new. In fact, 
in this prayer, create in me a clean heart. This word create, it appears in, in the Hebrew Bible and only God does that. It's something only God can do. It's what he did at the beginning. God created the, the heavens and the earth. And God can create in you a clean, a pure, a snow white heart. So kids, if you've ever made a mistake, and you will, and adults, you know, we need to keep this in mind, that our God is a God who makes us white as snow. Because He loves us so much that He won't leave us in our mess. All we have to do is ask for forgiveness. God loves you so much that He gave His Son that you might be clean. So kids, when you see snow this winter, I want you to think about that. The fresh start, the idea that God can make you clean no matter what you've done. So take heart in the prayer of David. And remember, as you watch the snow falling this winter, that God loves you so much, He'll make you clean again, no matter what you've done. When we're messy, when our hearts are messy, when we've done things that we regret, May we remember this image of snow and come to God in forgiveness and hope, realizing He loves us so much, He'll make us in our hearts as white as snow. Kids, I hope this has been helpful. Godspeed.